polymer is basically a long chain of repeating building blocks. And uh, we find them in nature, like cellulose that makes up trees, or they can be man-made, in which case we call them plastics. And depending on the type of building block, you can get thousands of different materials. So from very rigid ones to flexible ones, colored ones or transparent ones. For example, your phone, your computer, your running shoes or your raincoats all contain polymers and would not work uh, otherwise. So we're convinced that today's world needs polymers. Uh, the question is, how do we make them in a sustainable manner? And we also see large consumer brands making very bold claims. And so that puts a real challenge to their suppliers to come up with solutions that have the same performance or better performance than the solutions today, but that are also sustainable. Arkema is a global specialty materials company with 20,000 people in 55 countries with a turnover above 8 billion euros. The core of the activity of Arkema is to develop innovative, high-performance, sustainable solutions across three platforms, adhesives, coating solutions, and advanced materials. On the road, you will find various applications of Arkema's know-how, for example, in electrical vehicles, where our materials help boost battery performance, and end safety, and extend lifetime. An entirely different example is running shoes, where our materials help athletes break new records, while also preventing injuries. So polymers today are still mostly oil-based, which is a finite resource and has its problems, uh, as you know. You know, to really make polymers sustainable, we need to work on three fronts. Uh, the first one is to reduce our use of single-use plastics. Uh, the second one is to adopt more widely uh, polymers based on bio-based renewable feedstock. And the third one is really to, to increase our degree of recycling of these polymers when they reach their end of life. On a more corporate level, we're also reviewing uh, our entire portfolio in terms of sustainability to guide our strategic decisions. Um, and on top of that, we have made a few bold commitments in terms of CSR. Uh, for example, reducing carbon emissions by 38% by 2030 compared to 2015. Uh, and this while we continue to increase our business. So polyamide 11 is a polymer that's 100% bio-based, derived from castor uh, beans. And uh, what's unique about this polymer compared to some other bio-based polymers is that uh, it's really three things. So first of all, it's an advanced material with really high performances. Uh, secondly, it's fully bio-based. And thirdly, it's fully recyclable. And so it's a combination of these three things that makes it unique. And it's what we call ABC materials or advanced biocircular materials. Polyamide 11 was invented roughly after the World War II. The first pilot for production was built here in Serkini in 1949. But here today, it is still a very special material for Arkema, uh, and we are the only ones uh, in the world to produce it. Arkema's future today is an exciting one because we are right in the middle of the action. Today, many of today's challenges require new sustainable materials, and we want to be there to be part of the solution. Arkema is trying to co-innovate with customers. We are not doing innovation alone. We are co-innovating with the customers and their partners. Scarpa is using the polyamide 11 and especially your elastomer, the P-Bags are new, in these ski boots to help the alpinists to work with reliable shoes in extreme conditions. So these materials have very good cold impact resistance and it's much lighter compared to other materials and of course it's sustainable. Yes, I think it's a long story with Arkema because we started to use a PA11, a 100% bio-based material in 2007. I think we were one of the first company to use this raw material. And uh, from the really beginning, we found the, the, the interest of this raw material because it's, uh, 
it's bio-based for sure, but the mechanical characteristics are very high. It's very strong and it's not breakable. So yes, because the challenge is so large, we're convinced we need to collaborate. So we want to show the way by developing materials, sustainable materials and putting them out there. Um, but also on a practical level, we need to every day set up partnerships to make it possible. So the Pragati project was started in 2016 um, with a few partners of so BASF, uh, Giant Agroorganics and Solidaridad. And it's a project in which we work directly with uh, farmers and their communities to improve agricultural practices and their living standards. Uh, it's a project that's audited every year uh, by an external auditor and the results have simply been amazing. So we see that in the last four years, yields have improved by 50%, uh, water usage has decreased by 25%, and more than 5,000 farmers have been certified with the program. Pagadi program was a very mighty Malavati, Maru Gurpan Kuche, Upan Kusu, Ane Amne Sari, Majavechevi, Keti Lima Kam Karwani. Pagadi program was Jodavati, Mane Kasevi, Mighty Malavati, Mane Katar Pani, Biaran, Ane Panina, Bachetno, Kaseo, Anubotoche, Ane Avak Motulo, Vadaru Tavati, who we know that many uh, chemical companies have put sustainability at the heart of their strategy, but we believe for it to really have impact, we need to come up with practical solutions, put them out there in the marketplace, and also make the necessary investments so that these solutions are available on a wide scale. Additionally, we, we think it's important to continue to invest and next year we plan to open up uh, what will be the largest bio-based factory in the world uh, to make our advanced materials. And this is really a sign that we, are, uh, that we believe in this product, that we believe in this path and this way we hope to inspire others. The world is changing today and you cannot just content yourself polishing the stone. You need to move, to react, to adapt, but not only that. You need also to be ahead of the game and Arkema really has the talents, the technology, the geographical footprint to be ahead of the game and to be not only a leader but a reference in the world of global specialty materials.